our world has experienced rapid loss of biodiversity in last 100 years. FAO, the Food Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, is telling us that tropical forest has declined by 25% in last 100 years. We know that development and improvement of infrastructure, especially roads, are essential for rural development. But we do not have really sufficient information on location-specific biodiversity, so we focus more on economic gain from roads rather than taking into account the potential loss on biodiversity. So in our research, we have developed location-specific biodiversity indicators from data received from Conservation National, WWF, and BirdLife International to identify areas with critical biodiversity, and we developed also a methodology by which policymakers would be able to assess potential economic gains as well as potential biodiversity loss for infrastructure development or infrastructure in improvement. Policymakers, when they take their investment decisions, they must weigh the potential economic gain and the potential loss on ecology or biodiversity. While developing infrastructure, for example roads, they should try to steer away from the region which is very critical in biodiversity. And if they cannot avoid building or developing roads through these biodiversity rich areas, they should think about other policy instruments to protect biodiversity. For example, if they can identify from our research, from our databases, which biodiversity will be adversely affected by this infrastructure development, they should try to identify other areas where this kind of biodiversity lives and they should try to protect that area. So the bottom line is we need environmentally sensitive infrastructure programs and the time is now. We cannot afford to lose any more biodiversity in this world. Thank you.